Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a small ball of mass m and charge q is falling vertically with a terminal velocity u, okay, in a viscous fluid. After a uniform and constant horizontal magnetic field of induction b is switched on, it is observed that the ball acquires another terminal velocity and power dissipated in the viscous fluid becomes eta times of the power dissipated prior to switching on the magnetic field that means this in second case the power would be eta times the first case okay at what maximum value of magnetic induction is this possible dependence of the viscous force on the velocity is unknown okay so let us first analyze the situation here so i have already drawn the diagram to save you some time so initially there was a ball of mass m and charge q which was falling with a terminal velocity u that means the net force on the ball was zero so the gravity gravitational force was balanced by the resistive force let the resistive force when it was coming down with the speed u was f1 so of course in this case f1 is equal to mg okay now suddenly when the ball crosses this point a magnetic field in horizontal direction of magnitude b has been turned on now due to the availability of this magnetic field there will be a force in the perpendicular direction of the motion okay now as this perpendicular directional force comes into picture the direction of the resistive force also changes right of course gravity is also present now due to the change in the direction of the resistive force there will be a change in the speed u so this speed u changes to some other value due to the uh, tangential direction of the resistive force and after some time the ball approaches approaches a new terminal velocity fine so when that when the ball approaches its new terminal velocity the free body diagram would look something like this okay that means after it reaches the new terminal velocity after following a curved path it will follow a straight line path right and along this straight line the net force on the ball must be zero right so the forces that are acting on the ball are the gravitational force the magnetic force that is qvb and the tangential in the tangential direction in, and in the opposite direction the re new resistive force f2 okay because the speed has changed so the new resistive force would be f2 where v is the new terminal velocity that has been acquired by the ball okay now we will just balance these two forces the net force along this direction and along the tangential direction must be same so we can write mg cos theta equals to qvb and mg sin theta must be equal to f2 okay so these are the two balancing equations now at situation one the power that was being dissipated due to the resistive force was the resistive force itself and the terminal velocity u and initially the resistive force was equal to mg so f1 u equals to mg u is the initial power dissipation in the second situation the power dissipation would be f2 times v where f2 is mg sin theta okay mg sin theta times v now in the question they have already told that p2 is equal to eta times the initial power dissipation so p2 is mg sin theta v and eta times p1 was this one so mg just gets cancelled out we can find out v from this equation okay so if we pick up v from this equation we'll get something like this and we'll just plug this v here changing our equation to this one okay so we'll just modify a little bit and we'll write down b as a function of theta okay for so for some given value of theta and for a given value of b 
this would be the situation and how that the value of b is changing with theta it follows this relation okay now as you can see that uh, the dependency of b on theta is somewhat sinusoidal okay and we need to find out the maximum value of b so for maximum value of b sin 2 theta must be 1 theta must be pi by 4 just plug this value here you will get the maximum value of magnetic field for the situation that has been mentioned in the question okay so this is all this is our final answer if you just put the values you will get 5 into 10 to the power 4 tesla fine so here the actual path of the charge is the main uh, idea here okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and teachers and i'll see you in the next one peace